What's up everyone, I'm Coach D and wow, 1,500 to 2,000 new subscribers overnight. I'm absolutely overwhelmed with gratitude, so please keep liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my page. I really do appreciate you guys. So I guess I gotta talk about black conservatives who just won't learn either. Like I talked about Latinos for Trump and how they just don't really see the fact that their families will be affected by this mass deportation. I guess black conservatives haven't realized they're gonna be affected by this election as well. Like, they just don't get it. I mean, you have black conservatives out there who think they're immune to these issues that are going to be happening. So let's flash back first, because there was a gay black conservative who went to an event that was in support of Donald Trump, and while at that event, he got heckled. He was called racial and homophobic epithets, and they were yelling at him, America first. Now think about this for a second. Black people are American. So why would people at a Trump rally be yelling America first at a black man who is gay and a Republican conservative? It is because they don't really see you as one of them. And they literally did this to him. And then what does he do? He runs to CNN. He runs to CNN, gives them an interview to bash conservatives. So if we're going to talk about the future of this party and these white supremacists absolutely do exist in this party, we all saw me face them from face to face. I'm looking at soulless, dead eyed white supremacists that, by the way, I felt that these people could have bashed my brains in had they gotten the chance. I deal with these people in real life. And I know for a fact where they're coming from. I know that a lot of these people have infiltrated these conservative organizations from top to bottom. There needs to be accountability and I'm exploring options as how to do so right now. So there he is whining and crying on CNN and saying exactly what we've all been saying for a while. They're not for you and you're not for them. You see the racist right Republican conservatives, they're okay with black conservatives as long as you stay in line and continue to put a black face on their racism. Go to any black conservative page. Anytime they dare speak out against Donald Trump, they're told to get the hell out of the party. They're not real conservatives. They don't want them there. They're called racist epithets. And they're sometimes told to go back to the projects or go back to the ghetto. You see, they're okay with black conservatives as long as they're good with laughing at their racist jokes or being okay with their subtle and in many cases, overt racism. This is who they are. But you know, these black conservatives, just like Latinos for Trump, they thirst white proximity so badly that what they do is typically fall back in line. Because what Rob Smith did is he went to the rally in New York City and then he posted this picture and in the caption he put, got nothing but love at the New York Trump rally. It's almost like the left lies. You were on CNN crying about exactly what you're saying the party doesn't do. You said they were racist. You said they were homophobic. And now, because again, he loves and thirsts the proximity to whiteness so badly, he falls in line and basically says what happened to him didn't actually happen or isn't happening in the Republican Party. But wait, there's more because this black MAGA recently posted on TikTok that to all of our surprise, white MAGAs were racist toward him. MAGA family, I was on TikTok live and a fellow Trump supporter said that all he needed was my vote. I'll never be part of the MAGA family and that I'm black, I'll never be accepted, but he just got my vote. Nah, that's crazy. Like, I love MAGA nation, I love the MAGA family and that breaks my heart that someone would speak to me like that right after the election, that all I was was a vote? Nah, I love all you guys, and I know most of you MAGA family members are not racist, and I love you guys, and I'll keep repping MAGA nation, Trump 2024, but that really broke my heart that some guy would say that. Extremely heartbroken. Thoughts and prayers, my boy. Thoughts and prayers. I've seen a lot of black liberals who have said, when these people come to their senses, we'll be here to give them a hug and, and accept them back. Speak for yourselves. I won't. I won't. The damage that they have done 
to our people and to this country is unforgivable. That's me. You can do what you want. I'm not telling anyone to do any different. But like I said to the Latinos for Trump, I will not be on the front lines of this. When these black conservatives find out the hard way, I will not be on the front lines for them. I will not be there to give them a hug. I will not be there to embrace them with open arms. I'm sorry. And actually, I'm not sorry. I'm just not going to be the one. Again, you guys do you. I'm going to do me. And I will not be there for them. And I will not be there for the Latinos for Trump. You fucked around. You got to find out the hard way. Period. Don't want no enemies or ops. Envy in their heart, I tell them stop. Vacation on the yacht.